Now at five, another apartment building forced to evacuate because of a cancer causing chemical. This time it's a new luxury complex near Bayshore Mall. It comes just months after the community within the corridor apartments were cleared out for the same reason. Bruce Harrison joins us live from Glendale with the details on this one. Bruce. Steve, good afternoon. Well, the state's reporting that six units in this building were testing at least 10 times the legal limit for trichloroethylene or TCE. It's that cancer causing chemical. It presents in a toxic vapor. We're also learning through public records that some people may have been allowed to move in ahead of state recommendations. State records show health authorities received a first round of test results for the toxic vapor in early June. By then, the North Shore Health Department says people had been living in the building for nearly two months. Before people move in, the state recommends multiple rounds of testing at building sites where TCE has been detected in the ground. This area is a former landfill. We really want to be mindful that we're taking care of folks. North Shore Public Health Officer Becky Rowland says after test results came out, the developer Cypress Acquisitions told residents of potential risks. Then Roland says the developer spent several weeks trying to eliminate the health threat. But Roland says levels remain too high in six units and an evacuation was ordered. I know that um, the folks in the Lydell management have been working really hard and really closely with um, the tenants to get them squared away. Roland says testing continues throughout the rest of the building and others may have to move if TCE levels spike. We definitely still are advising people to take the other immediate actions that we have um, progressively advised them on. So that would be leaving your windows open, running your air purifier. The state says while it has the power to recommend testing protocol and occupancy guidelines, it can enforce them. Roland says perhaps her health department at the local level should be authorizing those tests in the future. More so than idea right now, I definitely, I think that there's support after this. No one wants to relive this. I did reach out to Cypress Acquisitions, the developer, about steps taken before occupancy. I've yet to hear back from them. Becky Rowland with the health department also says there are four new buildings here, two others. They've gotten the results back and negative tests for TCE in those spots. Steve? Happened again. Bruce Harrison, thanks for that. Now